I miss the most my family, my friends, to be able to speak my language and Icelandic food. It, it feels that I was so fortunate to have been brought up in India. I just wish like, oh, I wish I could go home. That's just the type of feeling it is. Uh, we have this Got to Go project where we help people who are from different countries and are homesick because they can't visit uh, due to coronavirus. Oh, that sounds fun! So we're now going to Sulachana's house and we're really excited to meet her and talk about her home country, India. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Namaste. Come in. Come in. Please come. What uh, most do you miss about India? Uh, the people there, my relatives especially. <laughs> and every place has good memories. But of course, home sweet home. Do you miss uh, the music there? I miss the music. Yes. If you get homesick, does listening to music help you? Music very much helps. Music is the first thing which helps me. Sa ri ga pa da sa, sa da pa ga ri sa, sa ri ga pa da sa, sa da pa ga ri sa. So the same notes we call them differently. Sa ri ga ma sa. I feel very grateful that you thought of me. You are very kind to think of me and come here all the way and give me a chance to stir up my memories and my sentiments, you know. I think the visit went well and I think she was genuine. I think our vaccine worked for her homesickness. How are you guys doing? We're good. Good. Thank you. I'm good too. What do you miss the most? Um, I miss my family and my friends the most. So have you been able to visit your home country during No, Korea? not unfortunately. I was supposed to go back this summer uh, to see like my family and stuff, but like it's not possible. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Bobak is like really popular in Asia and stuff like that, and I think on social media it's also like really popular. I know it looks like spider eggs or something, but it's like jelly basically. Mm -hmm. You put the tea. I need to be careful not to too much. There it is. Yeah, bubble tea. Yeah, sure. You like it? Mm -hmm. Good. Do you feel less homesick if you get the bubble tea? Definitely. Make me a good cup of bubble tea, and then I'll feel definitely more at home. Hello, Terve. Welcome. Thank you. Kidos, kidos. So, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Iceland uh, and I have been living here for one and a half years. My father is a farmer and we have 500 sheep. And do you often feel uh, homesick in Finland? Yes, I feel often homesick and, and I think it's interesting to uh, realize like, ah, now I live here. And where are all of the Icelanders? I think I miss also very much the food. Lamb meat is so uh, big part of uh, at least my life. So I brought a little bit of lamb meat with me. This is uh, lamb from my farm. Like, it just brings back memories. It reminds me of my family. It reminds me of when we're all together and sharing food and, and this is like gold to me. I'm sharing my gold with you. <laughs> so we're gonna play a game called Thunkudnivu, which means heavy knife. You get a six, then you are so lucky that you can say Thunkudnivu. And then you can start to write numbers from one and the first one to go, get to 100 wins. Ah, Thunkudnivu! 
Tungnever. Ja, och nitt. Ja, Tungnever. 100. Tungnever. Yes. Thank you, Kito Spanleon. I'm very thankful you invited me here and that you allowed me a little bit to share my culture and, and where I'm from and it felt good, I have to say. So thank you very much for this opportunity to share. Oh. Let's go!